In my seventh campaign, I marched against Teuman, king of Elam, who had dispatched some of his nobles to me, asking for the extradition of those people who had fled and laid hold of my feet. I did not grant him that extradition because of the insolent messages he had sent monthly through Umbadara and Nabu Damik while he was puffing himself up in Elam before his assembled armies. I marched straight against Elam at the command of gods like the onset of a terrible hurricane. I covered Elam in its entirety. I cut off the head of Teoman, their king, the haughty one, who plotted evil. Countless of his warriors I slew. Alive with my hands, I seized his fighters. With their corpses, I filled the plain about Susa as with plants. Their blood I let run down the Ulai. Its water I dyed red like wool. Umanigash, son of Urtak, the king of Elam, who had fled from Teoman to Assyria and had laid hold of my feet, I took with me to Elam. I placed him upon the throne of Teoman. Tamaritu, the third brother, who had fled with him, I set up as king in the city of Hidalu. The line of battle at Asurbanipal, king of Assyria, drew up against Teoman, king of Elam, and with which he accomplished the defeat of Elam. Teoman, king of Elam, saw the defeat of his troops. To save his life, he fled and tore at his beard. Tamaritu, son of Teoman, king of Elam, who escaped from the route, tore his garment and said to his father, hurry, do not delay. Teoman, king of Elam, who was wounded in fierce battle, fled and hid in a forest to save his life. The babutu of his royal chariot broke and it fell on top of it. A wagon pole pierced Teoman, king of Elam, and it also pierced Tamaritu, his son, whom he could not help. Teoman, king of Elam, was wounded in fierce battle. Tamaritu, his eldest son, took him by the hand and they fled to save their lives they hid in the midst of a forest. Teoman, in desperation, said to his son, take up the bow. With the encouragement of Assur and Ishtar, I killed them. I cut off their heads before one another. The head of Teoman, king of Elam, 
which a common soldier in my army cut off in the midst of the battle. To bring me the good news, they dispatched it to Assyria. Etuni, the official of Teoman, king of Elam, whom he insolently sent against me, saw my powerful onslaught. With his own hand, he drew the iron dagger from his belt and cut his bow, the trusted companion of his arm. Urtak, who was wounded by an arrow but did not die, called to an Assyrian to behead him, saying, Come, cut off my head. Take it before the king, your lord, and make a good name for yourself. The defeat of the troops of Teoman, king of Elam. At Tiltuba, Asurbanipal, great king, strong king, king of the world, king of Assyria, defeated countless of his warriors and threw down their corpses. I dammed up the Ulai River with the bodies of the warriors and people of Elam. For three days, I made that stream flow full of bodies instead of water. The terrible splendor of Assur and Ishtar overwhelmed Elam and they bowed to my yoke. Umanigash, who had fled and laid hold of my feet, I set upon his Teoman's throne. Tamoritu, his third brother, I set up as the king in the city of Hidalu. Chariots, wagons, horses, mules, weapons of battle, which with the aid of Asa and Ishtar, the great gods, my lords, my hands had captured between Susa and Ulai, at the command of Assur and the great gods, my lords, I brought them out of Elam joyfully, and to every one of my soldiers a gift was given. Land of Madaku. Umanigash, the fugitive, the servant who submitted to me. At my command, the official I had sent with him brought him joyfully into Susa and Madaku and sent him on the throne of Teoman, whom I had defeated. After I had waged bitter warfare against Elam with the weapons of Assur and Ishtar and had established power and might, on my return march, I set my face against Dunanu, king of Gambulu, who had put his trust in Elam. Shapibel, stronghold of Gambulu, I captured. Its inhabitants I slaughtered like lambs. Dunanu and Samgunu, whom had made difficult for me the exercising of sovereignty, in fetters of iron, I bound them hand and foot. The rest of the sons of Bel Ikisha, his family, the sons of Nabu Shuma Eresh, the proconsul, and the bones of the father who begot them, together with the peoples of Gambulu, cattle, sheep, horses, mules, I carried off from Gambulu to Assyria. Shapibel, his stronghold, I devastated, I destroyed, I laid waste by flooding it.
the head of Teuman, king of Elam, I hung on the neck of Dunanu, with the Elamite captives, the booty of Gambulu, which at the command of Asur my hands had captured. With singers and music, I entered Nineveh amidst rejoicing. Nabu Damik and Umbadara, nobles who Teoman, king of Elam, had sent monthly with insolent messages, filled with anger against their lord, I detained them in my presence. They saw in front of me the head of Teoman, their lord, which had been brought to me. Umbadara tore at his beard. Nabu Damik stabbed himself with the iron dagger at his belt. Nabu Naid and Bel Etir, sons of Nabu Shuma Eresh, the governor of Nippur, whose father had enticed Urtak to fight against Assyria. The bones of Nabu Shuma Eresh, which they had brought from Gambulu to Assyria, these bones before the gate in the middle of Nineveh, I had his sons crush. I, Assurbanipal, king of Assyria, I presented the head of Teoman, king of Elam, like an offering in front of the gate inside the city, as it had been said of old by the oracle, you will cut off the head of your enemies, you will pour wine over them. Accordingly, the gods Shamash and Adad granted this in my time. I cut off the heads of my enemies, I poured wine over them. I am Asurbanipal, king of Assyria. After I had offered sacrifices to the goddess and had celebrated the Akitu festival, and after I had seized the reins of the chariot of Ishtar, I enter Arbella amidst rejoicing with Dunanu, Samgunu, Aplaya, and the severed head of Teoman, king of Elam, which Ishtar, my lady, delivered into my hands. Urusa, king of Oratu, heard of the strength of Assur, my lord, and fear of my kingship overwhelmed him. He sent his nobles to ask about my health. In the center of Abela, I made Nabu Damik and Umbadara, nobles of Elam, stand before them with the writing boards containing the insolent messages. I hung the head of Teoman around the neck of Dunanu and the head of Ishtar Nandi around the neck of Sangunu, the crown prince. Manuki Ahe and Nabu Usali, men who ruled over Gambulu, spoke great insults against Assur, the god, my creator. I tore out their tongues and flayed them. I chained Dunanu, Samgunu and Aplaya, together with a bear for display to my people. Dunanu, son of Bel Ekisha, the Gambulian, who had disrupted the exercise of my kingship. I slaughtered him on a slaughter bench like a sheep and dismembered him. The others I slew. I cut off their members and had them carried about as an object lesson for all lands. I am Asurbanipal, king of the world, king of Assyria. Through the power of my gods, I have defeated my enemies and achieved the desires of my heart.